Hey, last Tuesday of the school year. Hopefully you had a good Memorial Day weekend. Um, here with you, real brief grammar part of our video. Hopefully you enjoyed your Quizlet. You're getting to know these uh, um, environmental terms. And then as we move along, because we're going to use those a lot in Spanish 3. So we're focusing ahead to the future. We've had a great Spanish 2. Let's just finish strong here. The Word of God, and I put this verse in for me, so if you can uh, learn something from it too, I'm sure it's been our verse already. Isaías 26, 3. Tú guardarás, future tense. You will keep, you will guard, en completa paz, in complete peace, aquel cuyo pensamiento en ti persevera. The one whose pensamiento, thoughts, on you per persevere. I'm thinking on you. I'm focusing on you. ¿Por qué? Why, why or because? En ti ha confiado. In you has he confided. In you has he trusted. In English it says, you will keep in perfect peace him whose heart is steadfast because he trusts in you. All right. And she too, as well. All right. Hey, verb of the day. One tense. Yeah. Let's just focus on this future tense. I want to make sure you get it. To form the future tense, how to say will in Spanish, you can either say voy a conservar or you can say conservaré. You don't drop the ending. Don't drop the ending and add e, as, a, hemos, an. I will conserve. I will conserve water, etc. All right? So what we learned yesterday was the future tense. Real simple. Don't drop the ending. And I really emphasize that because you memorize these endings and then you put and drop the ending, it doesn't say what we're trying to say. So, and add these endings, e, as, a, hemos, an. So I will talk, hablaré, hablarás, hablará, hablaremos, hablará. Simple, yes. Are there irregulars? Yes, those will come up in Spanish three. Comeré, comerás, comerá, comeremos, comerán. Viviré, vivirás, vivirá, viviremos, vivirán. How do you say I will be? I will be a junior in just a week. Seré, serás, será. Seremos, serán. You just take the verb and add a, as, a, emos, an. It's so easy. So let's practice this with one activity today, just one activity. Get your text out. By the way, some of the textbooks have been found in the school. Mr. Bell had found them. I wonder how you're doing your work without your textbook. Not sure. However, that is going to be one of your assignments due on um, Thursday. But if you can get it to me as soon as you can, a picture of the inside part of your textbook saying the number. I assigned you a number at the beginning of the year. You signed up, told me what problems you are. All I need to do have is a picture sent to my email address of your inside of your cover of your textbook showing me the number and your name. All right, here we go. Uh, I'm on activity 14 on three, uh, 434. 434. Activity 14. Activity 14. Durante el verano. You're not going to write these down. You're going to say them out loud to me. You and I are partners, and I'm going to say a question in the future, and you're going to answer in the future. Look at the model. It says, nadar tu, to swim you. So I'm wondering about your plans this verano, this summer. What will you do this summer? Will you swim at all? So I'm just going to say, nadarás durante el verano? Will you swim during the summer? Answer, I will swim. Si, sí, nadaré. No, profe, no nadaré. I just want you to respond to me. Number one, leerás tu? You respond to me. Sí, profe, leeré la Biblia todos los días. No leeré el texto español. I will not read the Spanish text. Number two. ¿Viajarás con tus padres? Answer, I will travel with my parents. Viajaré. All right, just answering me. Number three. ¿Acamparás con tu familia? Will you go camping with your family? Number four. Will you ride a horse? ¿Montarás a caballo tu hermano? Perdón, montará a caballo. Will your brother ride a horse? Montará? No, mi hermano no montará. Um, ¿Irás a pescar? No, no iré a pescar. No pescaré. I will not fish. Number six. ¿Mirarán televisión tus amigos? Will your friends watch TV? No. Sí, claro, mirarán Netflix. Oh, oh, it's a reflexive. First, you got to get the say out of the way. Te acostarás tarde. Will you go to bed late? Sí. Me acostaré tarde. ¿Y tú? 
Once again, te levantarás tarde? Will you get up late in the morning? Si, me levantaré tarde. The future tense. Don't drop the ending and add e, as, a, hemos, an. The last homework assignment from the book is workbook 350, 351. You're going to have that done for tomorrow and we'll check it and you will tell me an email with how many you got right, a picture of your textbook, as well as you are posting on Padlet three pictures of your pinata. One picture of you working on it, whether you're painting it or paper macheing it. One picture of you with it and it's done. And one picture of you breaking it. Now if you're the kind who doesn't want to break it, you can just pretend or just have three total pictures. That will be 100% on that quiz grade. All right. Um, I think I'll show a little bits of me making the pinata and then me breaking it tomorrow. Okay, so we're picking up the chapter video where the kids were just uh, interrogated by the police and they want to uh, do an, a camera interview of this oil executive who's destroying the planet uh, with his company. So the police was distracted and they sneak into the building. <laughs> Quisiéramos hablar con el señor Andrade. ¿Ustedes tienen una cita? ¿El señor Andrade sabe que están aquí? No, señorita. Pero es muy importante que hablemos con él. Estamos haciendo una película sobre el reciclaje y queremos saber qué hace esta compañía para proteger el medio ambiente. Lo siento, pero el señor Andrade no va a estar hoy en su oficina. No puede ser. No es cierto que el señor Andrade no esté aquí hoy. Estamos en Quito solo un día y tenemos que filmar nuestra película. Es necesario que lo veamos hoy. Sabemos que su compañía trabaja mucho por conservar los recursos naturales. Simplemente queremos entrevistar al señor Andrade. Es imposible. El señor Andrade tiene hoy una cita en el restaurante Independencia. Son responsables por el smog que vemos en el aire y por la destrucción de la capa de ozono. ¿Cuándo respiraremos aire puro otra vez, señor Andrade? Escuche, 
¿Usted cómo se llama? Yo soy Nicolás Callejas Montalvo. Escuche, Nicolás, yo sé que está enojado por la contaminación del medio ambiente. Yo también. Hace dos años soy presidente de esta compañía y le aseguro que hoy en día las cosas son muy diferentes. ¿Así? ¿Cómo? Por ejemplo, este año comenzó nuestro nuevo programa de reciclaje. Ahora protegemos más el aire, el agua y los bosques. Queremos conservar nuestro planeta. Por favor, pasen por mi oficina mañana. Allí hablaremos y yo responderé a todas sus preguntas. ¿Qué les parece? Sí, señor. Muchas gracias. Allí estaremos. Ahora, ¿puedo beber el agua? I'll let you guys conclude on the moral of the story. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the videos this year, even though sometimes we got to make fun of them. Uh, great way of practicing the vocab and making you aware of some issues out there. So I will see you keep working on your piñada. Uh, I will see you muy pronto on Padlet. So I've been working on my alligator piñata, but if you made a balloon piñata, all you simply have to do is pop the balloon, then you have an empty hole here. Of course, you can put your candy inside there, paint and decorate the outside. So I'll keep working on my piñata, you work on yours, and tomorrow we break it.